Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang solving absolute value equations. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay tuturo ko naman sa inyo ang solving absolute value equations. So, part pa rin to ng algebra topic kung saan i-apply natin yung natutunan natin sa videos ko about solving linear equations. But this time, magkakaroon tayo ng absolute value dun sa equations. So, hindi pa yung napapanood, isiling ko na lang para ma-check nyo. So, ngayon, bago tayo dumako sa pag-solve ng absolute value equations, is i-describe muna natin ng absolute value. Okay, so sabi, geometrically, for any real number x, The absolute value of x, so ito yung symbol ng absolute value. So, the absolute value of x is the distance without regard to the direction that x is from the origin. So, kung mag-a-assign tayo ng any value sa x, so for example, meron akong number line dito, kung saan hahanapin daw natin yung absolute value ng negative 5, tsaka absolute value ng 5. So, kung i-apply natin yung geometric interpretation for absolute value, it is the distance of x from the origin. So, therefore, kung hanapin natin yung absolute value ng negative 5, ano yung distance ng absolute value ng negative 5 from the origin? 5 units, right? Same as, ano yung absolute value ng positive 5? Ano yung distance ng positive 5 from the origin 0? 5 din, right? So, therefore, pabasay natin to as the absolute value of negative 5 is 5 and the absolute value of positive 5 is 5. So, laging yung nanandaan, there's no such thing as negative absolute value. Kasi nga, we refer to distance at wala namang negative distance. Okay? So, ito yung pinaka-definition of absolute value. So, for any real number x, the absolute value of x is equal to x if x is greater than 0, 0 if x is equal to 0, and negative x if x is less than 0. So, piecewise function siya, right? So, meron tayong 3 regions. So, yung una, kapag daw x is greater than 0, ang value ng absolute value natin is simply x. Or kapag yung graph natin, ito siya. So, lahat ng positive x, ito yung magiging graph niya. Parang line na y is equal to x, right? Okay? And then, kapag 0, yung x, ang absolute value ng x is 0 din. So, ito yung point na yon origin. And then, kapag x is less than 0 or negative values naman ng x dito sa left portion, yung graph naman niya is absolute value of x is equal to negative x. So, parang y is equal to negative x. Okay, so ito yung graph ng ating absolute value function. Now, meron tayong property of absolute value na gagamitin natin sa pag-solve ng absolute value equation. So, sabi, if absolute value of x is equal to k, where k is a constant, Then, x is equal to k or negative x is equal to k. That is, x is equal to k or x is equal to negative k. And absolute value of 0 is 0. Okay, so kung meron daw tayong absolute value equation na naka-equate sa isang constant, dalawa yung solutions natin. Pwede yung x is equal to k without changing the sign. And then, pwede rin x is equal to negative k. This time, gagawin yung negative yung constant k. Okay, so ito yung apply natin na property para mag-solve ng absolute value equations. Okay? So, para ma-illustrate yung pagsasolve ng absolute value equations, ay mag-solve tayo ng example. So, solve the absolute value equation, absolute value of x is equal to 7. So, using yung property sa taas, equal to sa x is equal to 7 or x is equal to negative 7, right? So, therefore, ito na yung solution natin. So, meron tayong dalawang solution. x is equal to 7 or x is equal to negative 7. Okay? Next, we have solve the absolute value equation. Absolute value of x is equal to negative 1. Okay. Although naka-equate siya sa isang constant sa right side, mapapansin nyo na yung value niya is negative, which is negative 1. Which is, kung isipin natin, is impossible for absolute value. Kasi nga, laging positive ang absolute value. So, therefore, walang solution itong equation na to. Pero kung ginawa nyo itong positive 1, meron. x is equal to negative 1 or x is equal to positive 1. So, since negative or negative 1 yung value natin sa right side ng absolute value equation, therefore, 
no solution. Okay? Next, we have solve the absolute value equation. Absolute value of 5 minus x is equal to 7. Okay, so this time, aside sa x, meron pa tayong 5 minus x inside the absolute value. So, same property pa rin. So, copy nyo lang whatever is inside the absolute value symbol. So, 5 minus x equal to, so copy muna yung 7, or 5 minus x equal to, this time, negative naman nung 7. So, two solutions pa rin. So, solve nyo ngayon itong equation na to. So, we have, transpose lang natin dito si 7, tapos si negative x. So, magiging 5 minus 7 is equal to positive x, or 5 minus 7 is negative 2 equal x. So, one solution. And then, sa kabila, so, transpose ko ulit si x, tapos si 7 sa kabila. So, 5 plus 7 is equal to x. So, 5 plus 7 is 12 is equal to x. So, therefore, we have two solutions. Negative 2 and positive 12. Okay? Next, we have solve the absolute value equation. Absolute value of 2 times quantity x plus 1 is equal to 6. Okay, so same as number 3. Copy lang natin yung inside the absolute value symbol na 2 times quantity x plus 1. Then equal sa positive version muna ng constant 6. Or this time, copy 2 times x plus 1. This time, equate nyo naman sa negative ni 6. So, two solutions pa rin. So, sub lang natin itong dalawang equation. So, distribute ko itong 2. 2x plus 2 is equal to 6. 2x is equal to, transpose 2, 6 minus 2. 2x is equal to, 6 minus 2 is 4. Divide both sides by 2. So, x is equal to 4 divided by 2 or 2. So, one solution is, x is equal to 2. And then, dito naman sa kabila, distribute ulit si 2. 2x plus 2 is equal to negative 6. 2x is equal to, transpose si 2, magiging negative 6 minus 2. Then, 2x is equal to, negative 6 minus 2 is negative 8. Divide both sides by 2. x is equal to, negative 8 divided by 2 or negative 4. So, therefore, we have another solution of x is equal to negative 4. Okay? Next, we have, solve the absolute value equation. Absolute value of 2x plus 3 is equal to x. Okay, so this time, yung right side natin is hindi na constant, but also a variable x. So, pwede pa rin natin i-apply yung property ng absolute value equation. So, copy lang natin yung inside the absolute value symbol na 2x plus 3. Then, equate muna natin siya sa positive x. Or, this time, 2x plus 3 uli, equated naman sa negative ni x. So, two solutions pa rin tayo. So, solve natin tong unang equation. For x, transpose natin to si x, tapos si 3, transpose sa kabila. So, 2x minus x is equal to negative 3. 2x minus x is x equal to negative 3. So, one solution. Then, 2x plus 3 is equal to, transpose natin si x, so plus x equal to, transpose si 3, negative 3. So, 2x plus x is 3x equal to negative 3. Divide both sides by 3. x is equal to negative 3 divided by 3 or negative 1. Okay, now, although meron tayong solutions for x na talawa, negative 3, tsaka negative 1, try natin i-plug in. So, absolute value of 2 times negative 3 plus 3 equal negative 3. And absolute value of 2 times negative 1 plus 3 is equal to negative 1. Now, kung mapapansin nyo, yung equation natin sa parehong solution is yung right side is negative value, right? Which is kanina, kapag ganun yung case, hindi siya possible kasi wala naman tayong negative value ng absolute value, laging positive. So, therefore, hindi natin pwedeng tanggapin yung solution natin na na dalawa. Na x is equal to negative 3, tsaka x is equal to negative 1. Kasi, wala tayong negative absolute value. So, therefore, no solution. Okay? So, laging yung check ka kung yung right side ba is magiging positive or negative value kapag sinapitid nyo yung x. Kasi, kapag negative siya, hindi nyo tatanggapin. Laging positive lang. Okay? Next, we have solve the absolute value equation. Absolute value of 3 times quantity x minus 3 plus 1 is equal to x minus 1. Okay, so same procedure. So, copy natin yung expression inside the absolute value. So, 3 times quantity x minus 3 plus 1 equal. So, this time, meron tayong quantity. 
x minus 1 sa right side. So, kapag ganun, equate muna natin siya sa positive version. So, x minus 1, or sa other solution, copy uli, 3 times quantity x minus 3 plus 1, this time, negative naman nito. So, take note, dapat may parenthesis. Kasi quantity na yung ginagawa nating negative. Huwag nyo kakalimutan yun. Okay? So, sobrang natin itong equation na dalawa. So, dito muna sa una. Distribute. So, 3x minus 9 plus 1 is equal to x minus 1. So, 3x, negative 9 plus 1 is negative 8 equal x minus 1. So, transpose si x, transpose si 8. 3x minus x is equal to negative 1 plus 8. 3x minus x is 2x equal to negative 1 plus 8 is 7. Divide both sides by 2. x is equal to 7 half. So, possible 1 solution. Then, sa kabila, distribute ulit si 3. 3x minus 9 plus 1 is equal to distribute din yung negative. Negative x plus 1. 3x, negative 9 plus 1 is negative 8 is equal to negative x plus 1. Transpose si x, transpose si 8. 3x plus x is equal to 1 plus 8. So, 3x plus x is 4x. Then, 1 plus 8 is 9. Divide both sides by 4. x is equal to 9 over 4. Sa so possible solution. Again, wag natin agad tatanggapin unless ma-prove natin na acceptable siya dito. So, substitute natin. So, 3 times x minus 3. So, 7 over 2 minus 3 plus 1. Absolute value is equal to 7 over 2 minus 1. And then, 3 times 9 over 4 minus 3 plus 1. Absolute value is equal to 9 over 4 minus 1. Now, ang critical lang naman is yung mga right side. So, kapag positive agad yung right side, then acceptable siya. So, 7 over 2 minus 1 is what? So, parang 3.5 minus 1 or positive 2.5. So, since positive naman yung right, acceptable tong solution natin na x is equal to 7 over 2. Then, dito rin, sa kabila, ano yung 9 over 4 minus 1? So, yung 9 over 4 is 2.25. So, minus 1, 1.25. Which is positive then. So, therefore, acceptable then itong solution natin na 9 over 4. So, meron tayong 2 solutions na 7 halves and 9 fourths. Okay? Next, we have solve the absolute value equation. Absolute value of 1 half times quantity 2x minus 1 plus x minus 1 equals 3x plus 2. Okay, same sa example number 6. We have 1 half times 2x minus 1 plus x minus 1 equal. This time, copy lang muna tong 3x plus 2. Or, 1 half times 2x minus 1 plus x minus 1 equal. This time, negative nitong quantity 3x plus 2. So, dapat may parenthesis kasi 2 terms. So, solve muna natin tong una. So, dahil meron tayong uh, fraction na uh, 1 half, multiply natin by 2. So, cancel. 2x minus 1 plus distribute si 2. 2x minus 2. Equal. Distribute din sa right. 6x plus 4. So, 2x plus 2x is 4x. Negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. Equal 6x plus 4. Transpose ko dito si 6x. So, 4x minus 6x equals 4. Transpose si negative 3 plus 3. So, negative 2x, right? Equals 7. Divide both sides by negative 2. We have x is equal to negative 7 over 2. One possible solution. Next, dito naman. So, multiply uli natin to by positive 2. So, cancel. So, 2x minus 1 plus distribute 2x minus 2 is equal to distribute din dito. So, pag distribute natin itong negative, negative 3x minus 2. So, pag tinimes 2 natin, negative 6x minus 4. So, 2x plus 2x is 4x. Negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3 equals negative 6x minus 4. Transpose, transpose. So, 4x plus 6x is equal to negative 4 plus 3. So, 10x is equal to negative 1. Divide both sides by 10. x is equal to negative 1, 10. Okay? Now, substitute natin kung possible ba itong dalawang solution. So, dito muna sa negative 7 over 2. So, 1 half, 2 times negative 7 over 2. Minus 1 plus negative 7 over 2 minus 1. Absolute value equals 
3 times negative 7 over 2 plus 2. And then, same sa kabila, sa x is equal to negative 10. So, 1 half times 2 times negative 1, 10 minus 1 plus negative 1, 10 minus 1. Absolute value equals to 3 times negative 1, 10 plus 2. Now, yung critical ulit is yung right side. Check natin kung magne-negative ba o magpa-positive. So, 3 times negative 7 over 2 plus 2. It is equal to what? So, obviously, negative yan, right? Kasi negative 21 over 2 plus 2. Ilan yun? Negative 17 over 2. So, therefore, hindi pwede tong x is equal to negative 7 halves. Now, itong kabila, ano naman yung 3 times negative 1, 10 plus 2? So, negative 3 over 10 plus 2. So, positive yan. 17 over 10. So, therefore, ang acceptable lang is itong solution na x is equal to negative 1 over 10. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, solving absolute value equations. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.